The countdown is on for a mission to clean up space junk with magnets. ELSA-D, the world's first commercial space mission to start a debris removal system, will launch in a few hours' time from a Cosmodrome in Kazakhstan. The new technology has been developed by the Japan-based company Astroscale. With more satellites being launched, it's becoming increasingly important to declutter the space environment. Well, here's Mike Lindsay, Astroscale's chief technology officer in Tokyo, explaining how the cleanup will work. We are very excited here in Tokyo. We also have a, a campus in, uh, in the UK who's doing our mission operations, uh, offices in the US and Israel. We're all very excited. This is a very big day for us. Now, can you take us through what's going to happen in this mission and why everyone needs to look out for a cat and mouse scenario? <laughs> yeah, so the mission is the first demonstration of uh, the end-to-end -end process of capturing debris and then lowering it out of Earth's orbit. So the demonstration consists of a servicer spacecraft and a client spacecraft. Um, actually, if you can see my background, it's a depiction of the two spacecraft that will be flying together. Uh, the mission consists of sort of releasing the client and then catching it with the servicer. So that's that cat and mouse that you mentioned. Uh, so the mission uh, simulates a, a scenario where we would rendezvous with and then dock with and, and capture a piece of debris that is free floating in space. And then we uh, lower it uh, such that it uh, re-enters Earth's atmosphere and stays out of the way of other spacecraft and operations. So a kind of global Tom and Jerry, which will get crazier and crazier as it goes uh, around. Now, we've been reporting on lots of satellite launches recently. It seems like there's been a surge from jumbo jets, all the SpaceX ones. But some people don't clean up their mess today, their hardware. Now, is that what space debris is? Uh, well, certainly space debris does originate from any uh, uh, human-made object that is launched into space and is not disposed of uh, properly. Uh, Accidents do happen. Sometimes, uh, you know, uh, fuel tanks rupture or batteries explode. Uh, actually, just a couple of days ago, we, we saw an announcement that there was a satellite that had a, a debris event where uh, several pieces of debris were found to be scattered, uh, originated from uh, one spacecraft. Uh, so, yeah, anything from, a, you know, nuts and bolts and washers to paint flex, all the way up to wholly intact satellites that are no longer under control and can no longer maneuver, those represent the, the space debris threat. Now, you've chosen a niche industry. Look, for some of us, it's hard enough to tidy up our houses. What drew you, attracted you to cleaning up space? Uh, ever since I was a young child, I've been fascinated with, with planets and space exploration, uh, always looking through a telescope when I could. Uh, but through my career, uh, I pursued a, a number of uh, space endeavors. But uh, with each mission, I learned more and more about the, the concerns about sustainability. And uh, I became passionate about making sure that uh, future generations can have the opportunity to launch their spacecraft and explore. So in order to do that, we need to make sure that uh, development and sustainability go hand in hand, and we're making sure to, to keep the orbits clean.